Of course, over the past couple weeks, the market has been doing not so well, especially if you were buying into the tech craze. But if you weren't doing that, even if you're in commodities, that kind of thing, like I am, even in the last few days, I've definitely seen quite a few drops in a lot of my holdings. So what I would recommend for when you have very limited capital, you're just beginning investing and there starts to be a dip, buy in. Hey, my name is Tucker Krause, and welcome to my channel, where I detail my investing journey as a 14-year-old and give my thoughts and opinions on a variety of personal finance-related topics and issues. In today's video, I'm going over my strategy for what I do when there's a dip with my very limited capital, just to see if it could, you know, kind of give you some idea on what you should do. Obviously, don't follow this exactly. This is obviously not financial advice. But I just thought I would quickly put it out there while I'm learning how to value stocks much more effectively, use Microsoft Excel much more effectively, these sort of things, so I can put together some proper stock evaluations. But in the meantime, here's what I do during a dip while I have very limited capital. So first, I'm going to be going over one example. And then second, I'll be going over the strategies I used. And third, just the general recap of all of these strategies that I used. So first, the example. Recently, of course, the stock market has been doing not so great, whether that's tech or even in the last couple days, commodities have been getting hit pretty hard, especially oil, although it has had a bit of a resurgence due to a block up in the Suez Canal. So I kind of messed up when I had bought Denison Mines Corp as I had ended up buying it at a very premature peak. I bought it at about $1.45 US. Now, right now, it is trading at, it got as low as a dollar and one cent today, March 24th, 2021, but at the end of the day, at about a dollar and two cents, I believe. But I still believe that is going to go well above that, but to try and help dollar cost average a little bit lower and perhaps, you know, get a bit more of a gain out of it, as I had only bought 100 shares initially, I've placed limit uh, buys on the way down, but only near the bottom so that I'm able to pull myself down as much as I can without having to spend too much money. Because when you have limited capital, you can only buy the dip down so far if it continues to dip. And then second example, I got very lucky with Rio Tinto because they were about $90 and they crashed down to $83 when I bought it. And over the past about week and a half, they went all the way down to about $74. And so buying only say one share like a day, I was able to bring myself down a lot lower so going from about $83 down to now my average is almost exactly $77. So of course the main strategy is to just dollar cost average down. But with my limited capital, there are two ways that I try and alleviate the fact that I have limited capital. The first is that I buy limited shares. And the second is that I try and buy at as low a price as possible. It sounds like very simplistic, but what I mean by that is that when I'm buying down, I try and not spend way too much money and go see, oh, one bread day, let's go all in, in case, it, you know, it keeps going, which again, for Rio Tinto, went well, really well for me by going in slower and going on the way down much further, right? And not wasting that limited capital I have, me, where if I just went all in on Rio Tinto, I wouldn't have been able to bring myself as far down the dollar cost average because I wouldn't have any more money to keep going down and buying the debt further. And the other thing is that obviously you wanna try and time it well. This is something you can't control, let's be honest, but try and buy as low as you can, right? Set a limit order for something that seems like substantially lower than what it is. For Denison, as an example, I had a $1 limit buy and today it got as low as a dollar and one cent, which, which means it doesn't always work. It's obviously t uh, hard to time that bottom, but it's a lot better than if I'd say dollar cost average down at a dollar 25 cents. Again, sorry about the very short video today. Uh, I'm just trying to work on other things at the moment. Obviously I'm not abandoning this channel, but things to help this channel, even if it means that, you know, I can't put together something as nice for one day, that's kind of surrounding on unimportant. So if you still enjoy this very short video, make sure to smash the like button. So, and thanks for watching, all that good stuff. If you want to see my most recent upload, that's right here. And so I will see you next time.